a um, little bit quicker post game meeting after a win today than it was after West Virginia. Uh, what happened in the post game after West Virginia, and, and did that help you guys out today? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I really can't explain what happened. It was just kind of us, us all in here venting, and we knew it was going to be a new year. We wanted to turn things around. And, uh, so, so that was one of your uh, Tyrone performances today? Nah, I don't really like to call it that. Um, I just played well. I mean, I had, I had some good opportunities at the basket with my teammates. They, they played well as, as well, and it uh, freed me up a little more than usual, and I was able to, to make some plays. You guys, kind of a slow start, but you had good looks, it looked like. Did you know if you just stuck with it eventually, the points were going to come? Yeah, the first half, we had probably the same looks as we did in the second half. We just couldn't finish them like we wanted to. And in the second half, we were able to convert. And so uh, it, it showed on the score. How does it feel? Uh, you know, it's been a couple of uh, couple of tough games for you, but now you're 1 0. You're first place in the ACC, man. Yeah, it feels really good. I can't even lie. What was the difference in your game? I mean, did you feel like you had a matchup advantage in, um, in the second half? I don't know. I was just kind of feeling it, and I was trying to stay aggressive. Um, I was just trying to keep driving to the home, and that, that was pretty much it. Coach Williams has often said, you the most talented guy on the team. Do you, do you think today you showed that? Um, I do think so. I don't even know if I am the most talented on the team, but I did play well, so I, I, I feel good. going there. What do you remember about that three-point basket? Um, it came back to me for the second time, so like, and I was in rhythm, so when I was open, they were like sagging off a little bit, so I shot it and it felt good. Now, do you feel confident for three? Because, you know, big men aren't supposed to make making those three-point shots there. Uh, I feel confident shooting the three. And then in overtime, you helped, really helped the team out. What uh, what helped you get kind of, uh, uh, you know, how, were you feeling any pressure there in overtime or, or not? Um, not really. Um, I keyed in on crashing the glass a little bit more because I saw that our guards were scoring early, and then they adjusted having their big come over late. So it freed up a lot of offensive rebounds. You, you were down 10 with 10 minutes to go in regulation. It looked like you guys were headed to a you know, third straight lopsided loss. What, what is it, you know, how, how big is it for this team that you guys were able not to have, not you know, come back and so that didn't happen? Um, it says a lot about who we are. Um, we're growing and learning still. And um, we fought with each other. So that was very important. Obviously, it would have been a, you know if you had a third straight offside loss, it would have looked looked bad for this team. But now you know you guys are one and on ACC play, so that it must be encouraging for you guys there. Um, yeah, it's a good start, but um, we want to keep moving forward and get better. What, what was what was different from this game versus say the uh, same, uh, game on uh, Wednesday against West Virginia? Um, you think you guys get better? Probably um, rebounded a, lo a lot better today, and um, we keyed in and we we stayed together when things got thick. What did you guys do better in the second half today than the first half today? Um, rebound once again, rebounding. Um, we locked in defense. A more. We um, took some, some better shots. Yeah, often seem to be wrapped up there in the second half. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, a little bit quicker post game meeting after uh, today's win than it was after the West Virginia loss. Uh, what happened after that West Virginia game, and uh, how did that affect y'all's performance today? Um, we just had a talk about what it takes to win. That was, that was pretty much it. Um, it helped us today. All right, thanks, man. Well, I'm going to start off and say that, uh, you know, we did not make enough uh, winning plays down the stretch, whether it was getting a defensive rebound, making a foul shot, making an open shot, um, containing the dribbler defensively. You know, we, we're our own worst enemies. So uh, we've got to be better uh, late games, and all those things add up. You know, they add up when you've got a lead, you can't make a foul shot, or you can't get a defensive rebound, or... Uh, you know, those type things. They really end up, you know, becoming magnified. Uh, so that's tough. Uh, you got to give those guys credit. I thought they made a lot of tough shots, just tough shots. I mean, shots where I thought we defended them pretty well and they're kind of pumping and double pumping and they're off balance and they're laying it off the backboard. And you got to give those guys credit for uh, making big shots, which they did. And so, uh, um, you know, that's kind of the story of the game. I think this will be the first time in my career as a head coach. This is my ninth year. I've never said anything before. You guys pigeonhole me on the questions you have prearranged, but um, I do want to say this. I mean this as genuine as possible. I don't, the buttons on Twitter, I don't know what they all are. So every morning after I get through working out, I send a tweet and I know how to go to 
compose it, I know how to send it. And then I let my wife hit the button that has all of those mentions. So uh, this is maybe not the right thing to say. Uh, I took the job because of wit. And uh, I met Witt in Chicago. And then the next day, Witt was in Milwaukee. And maybe it's because I grew up in the country. But uh, where I grew up, when people hired you to haul hay, you were responsible to the man that hired you to haul hay. And so I know that being on time with the media is a portion of my job. I mean that respectfully. But I want to tell you that to some level, what you say and what you think has no impact on me. Because my responsibility are to the children and the families represented in the locker room first. And second, my responsibility is to whip my boss. And so for those of you that I found out that were talking in a very negative way about me, that really is offensive to me. And I want to say that I tried to be as accessible and blunt and transparent with the media as I can. The reason I was late was not because I was having a meltdown with our team. If I was having a meltdown with our team, I would have said I had a meltdown with our team. So I apologize for being late, and I mean that genuinely. But if you ever think that being here is more important than me talking to our children or my responsibility to the guy that offered me the job, unequivocally, the answer is no. And I hope that doesn't offend you or the other media around the world that are watching this, but it's just in my heart what I believe to be right. I'll answer any questions you have. Uh, you're down 10 with 10 minutes to go in regulation. What helped that offense get your, of yours get cranked up there in the second half? I thought it was the first time since we've been here that it, nothing we did was appealing to the eye. I didn't think that we were necessarily great offensively all day. We were great at not turning the ball over, which gave us our best chance to win. Jalen was great. Seth was great. But I thought we were hanging in there, and I thought we were taking the types of shots that we want. I thought they made three at the end of the shot clock contested shots that were potential backbreakers, but we just kind of hung around. And it turned into Instead of a basketball game, it was more of a body blow, body blow, body blow fight. And I thought it was the first time that we didn't have to hit a prayer or something miraculous didn't have to happen in order to win. And I thought, I thought our guys just kept hanging in there. Seth said something interesting after, afterwards here about Jalen. He said, Jalen carries a heavy burden because he's so talent, talented. People expect this every night from him. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's good. And I know you've been trying to draw that out of him. Yeah. Uh, how's that process going? Uh, when you see something like this tonight, you know, do you try to extrapolate the rest of the season and see, see what that could mean for you guys? I think uh, they, they asked me, not as articulate as you just did in radio, the same thing. And I've said since uh, Thanksgiving of last year, he's the most talented guy on our roster. And uh, potential is poisonous at times if you never realize it. He's got to figure out how hard you have to play. He, he had a really good game like this against Duke. And because of all the things that have transpired with our roster, the thing that I would say is he doesn't have to score 23 every night, but he has to be in a position that they're guarding him like he could potentially score 23. And I think collectively with the guys – that we have left, we're going to have to fight like that 18 more times. And maybe Jalen will have another superlative offensive game. 
I don't think that we need to rely upon him like that every game. But we're going to have to fight and scrap like we did today in order to have a chance. Earlier in the season, you weren't you were less than pleased with Seth's defense. Tonight, he, or this afternoon, he draws Cap over for most of the game and does a pretty good job. How happy with this progress are you? Yeah, he's, uh, he's arguably top five, one of the smartest basketball IQ players I've coached. Uh, but understanding it is part of it, and then doing it is probably the hardest part of it. And I thought that, uh, you know, it was the first time we had started that group. It was the first time we'd started him at the point. It was the first time that his matchup was the best perimeter player. It so happens that Cat's the leading scorer in the league and incredibly difficult to defend. But I thought he did a good job. Yeah, Cat got, you know, he took out 21 points, but he had to take 21 shots to, to, to get that. So what was kind of the defensive game plan against him uh, that he pulled off there? Yeah, uh, that, that's right, Berman. Good question. We, we talked about can we uh, – without going into a big, long spiel, <coughs> points per possession. So to 65 shots, and they scored 68 points. Um, can we get our points per possession above one? What's our turnover percentage going to be? Obviously, we only turned it over 5% of the time. But we, we need to, almost like football, um, maybe in re incarnate, maybe I could be a football coach, but we don't necessarily always have to win time of possession, but we need to be really close. And then points per possession wise, we've got to hover around one or above. And then our DER, it's got to be below. If you look at the games that we've lost, our DER has been atrocious. And sometimes that's offensive rebounding like it was against West Virginia. Sometimes our OER really struggles because our turnover percentage is so high. But, yeah, we, 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 if you have to shoot 21 shots to get 21 points, collectively, if you're trying to do that as a team, defensively, you're probably trending in the right direction. Buzz, just, just four turnovers. I mean, how, how, I guess, how much of a sign is that? Maybe you guys are getting a little better with holding the ball and controlling the ball and just not maybe. I just like that a lot of times you guys have been kind of sloppy. Is that kind of. Yeah. Pretty? I think uh, so through non conference, we averaged 14 turnovers a game and we forced 14 turnovers. And that was kind of along some of the same things that we were trying to talk about the last couple of days that Berman just mentioned. We give them the ball and then they give us the ball. Then it's a push. We can't, we're not, our margin's not good enough to win a push. And uh, it's, the, it's the same thing on the offensive glass. I know they're way superior than we are inside. So somehow we have to make sure they, their big guys don't get it and the rest of us are flying in and getting it. Um, but if, if you were to point to one stat, I would say, what gave us our best chance to win was our turnover percent was five, which was the best. Uh, there was one game last year that we turned it over, I think less than that in non-conference, but not in a conference game.